Hello everybody and welcome to our new video training package of Abacus. Deload subroutine and we deload subroutine in Abacus, a comprehensive and example-oriented package for advanced Abacus and finite element users. Let's look at its content in this 10 minutes demo. If you want to start analyzing your project in Abacus, it is better to save your time by watching this demo and making your decision easier. Do not waste your time watching amateur and weak video on YouTube. This package contains one lesson and five workshops in more than 90 minutes. And here I will present you the syllabus of some workshops. And we can see some selected parts of them. In lesson main below questions are discussed. When do we need to use a subroutine? How to use deload and vdeload subroutines? What is the difference between deload and vdeload subroutines? In this workshop, we are going to introduce deload and vdeload subroutine in Abacus. These subroutines are used for loading issues containing a function having so many variables. This package includes several chapters. The first one is when do you need to use these subroutines? How can you use these subroutines? What is the difference between these two subroutines? How can you convert these two subroutines and a few examples of these two subroutines? You first need to be familiar with the Fortran programming language and how to connect to Abacus. The articles on the website have completely covered this issue. You will find an introduction to deload and vdeload subroutines in this training package. And more advanced discussions about these two subroutines will be covered in the upcoming package named Deload Part 2. This package contains more than 90 minutes of training, including videos, theories, tips, simulation steps, practical example, and subroutines, and all files. What are the uses of these two subroutines? Suppose we have a 3D beam that is completely fixed on both sides and a load that depends on a function of the node location and time is applied to it. Time-dependent loading can be simulated with amplitude and location-dependent loading can also be simulated with the distribution option in Abacus. Now, if the problem depends on both location and time, the graphical environment is no longer useful and we have to use a subroutine. Another example in this case, suppose you have a ball left in the water and you want to calculate the buoyant force on it, as well as the acceleration and velocity that it has after jumping upwards, in which case the low subroutine will help you to simulate the problem. F, which is the output of subroutine in deload, can be in two modes, surface force and body force. Suppose we have an object that is uh, partitioned in a way like this part. Now, if a force is applied at one point, it is called concentrated force. If it is applied to this edge, it is called linear force. If force is applied to the whole model, it is called body force. And if force is applied on the surface of the body, it is called surface load. We will just consider the last two ones. Settings that must be made in the graphical software environment for each of these subroutines. 
we had three load types that are shown here in these three pictures pressure pipe pressure and body force depending on what element is used you can select any of these load types note that whichever you select you must set the distribution option to user defined so that you can use the subroutine Hello everybody! In this exercise, we want to use the load subroutine for applying a sinusoidal load on a composite beam. Also, looking at the model from different views can give us good information about the results of the analysis. Since our material is composite, the amount of stress can be observed in different directions because the elastic modulus are different in each direction. Hello dears! In this workshop, we go to solve a problem that is a square plate under explosive loading modeled using the load subroutine. Note that you can see the mechanical properties of this material here. Young's modulus is 200, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. We also have the damage specifications according to the ductile and shear damage criteria. Also, toughness is equal to 500. As you can see, the location-dependent pressure at zero time is 1. The temperature-dependent pressure at zero time is 0. And at other times and places, it is calculated according to the two functions, P1 and P2. Each of these functions is multidisciplinary in terms of place and time, which are defined according to the opposite condition. As you can see, the other parameters are defined. Given that, we need the radius and the relationship, then x and y are defined according to the subroutine inputs. And for this reason, we transfer the model in the assembly module to the coordinate center, which is the center of the explosion. For example, to see that the behavior of the plate indicates that the explosion occurs exactly at the coordinate center. If we want to see the model completely, we have to define the coordinate system from tools and coordinate system create fixed system and rectangular then select the coordinate center and make the elements visible to see more accurately Go to Plugins, Tools, Save Current, and View Part. In this workshop, 
we will model the effect of Archimedes force on an incomplete sphere. All the features and specifications have been given here. Also, its center of mass is given in this model due to the unbalanced mass distribution. We now see the results of this analysis. Because the center of mass of the bullet doesn't exactly match all three symmetrical axes of the bullet, it causes the bullet to rotate while forces has been loaded on it. If we want to see the movement of the bullet, we do as follows here. The diagram shows the movement of the bullet, which starts from a height of zero, it means the water level, and moves to the depth of the water and then returns to the water surface again when the velocity is zero due to gravity force and this movement is repeated repeatedly please note that the difference between the simulation and the real situation is that because the energy loss is not taken into account here in each of our round trip cycles it doesn't reduce the path length traveled by the bullet but in reality this displacement is constantly in decreasing pattern In this workshop, we will simulate deep drawing process under the fluid pressure with the help of VD load subroutine. Note that the fluid pressure will be different based on distance from the tablet shaped sheet axis. If the distance from sheet axis is lower than A, the pressure will be PC and for larger distance will be equal to PR equation. You can see the relationship and parameters related to the equations here. You can see that in this respect PC and PR are constant values. In this relation, there are two variables small r and capital R which capital R is biggest sheet radius regarding sheet radius change during the process. In the next section we will discuss how to write the subroutine in this workshop. In the first workshop we will go to the subroutine writing method and the tips to write deload and vdload subroutine. First, as you know, the subroutine interface must be copied and pasted in the empty Fortran file from Abacus documentation. Now, if we want to observe Mises stress in an element of the middle part in two models, in the first, it is 197, and in the second, it is 132, which shows that the hydrostatic pressure has a positive effect in reducing the stress in hydroforming process. In this way, we could to apply the desired pressure with really load subroutine. Note that we can have pressure amount in each radius in the log file. In this workshop, we will simulate the movement of a car on a metal bridge and we will survive its effect and bridge. 
Dispute dimensions and math of the car are also provided to you. To see how the load moves on this bridge and its reflex effect, we can use the animation option. Also, all items such as tension, displacement, and other items can be seen. Friends, thanks for your attention. I hope you have received the items that you're looking for in this package. I hope you have got enough information about this package. But don't worry at all. If you have any questions about this tutorial, ask us via support at caeassistant.com.